we're diving deep into the world of Odoo's Object Relational Mapping, or ORM. This powerful tool allows developers to interact with the database in a way that's consistent with the Python's object-oriented language. Understanding Odoo's ORM. Odoo's ORM provides an abstraction layer over SQL, making it possible to perform a wide range of database operations without having to write raw SQL queries. It simplifies life for the developers so they can concentrate on building great applications rather than database operations. Advanced queries with Odoo ORM. Odoo's ORM allows for a rich set of query operations, from simple operations like search and read to advanced features that can be harnessed for more complex requirements. Let's take a look at some of these advanced features. Domain operators. Odoo uses domain operators to define search conditions. Beyond simple equals or not equals or I like, there are more advanced operators like child of, parent of, and in. Understanding how and when to use these can greatly enhance the applications and flexibility of your queries, as well as increase the speed and resiliency of your application. Let's take a look at some of these operators in detail. The I like operator is used to perform case insensitive search. For example, name I like John will match records where the name field contains John, uppercase John, or John with an uppercase J. The in operator is used to match a field with any of the values in a list. For example, name in John or Jane will match records where the name field is either John or Jane. And the inverse of that, the not in operator is used to match a field with none of the values in a list. For example, name not in John or Jane will match records where the name field is neither John or Jane. The child of operator is used in hierarchical structures. For example, parent ID, child of some ID, will match records that are descendants of the record with ID some ID. The like operator is used to perform case sensitive search. For example, name like John with an uppercase J will match records where the name field contains John but not John lowercase or John uppercase. This operator is used to handle null values correctly. If the right-hand side is false or none, the domain will always match. Record sets. A record set represents a collection of records in Odoo. They are returned from the database search operations, and developers can manipulate these record sets in Pythonic ways, such as iterating over them, indexing into them, and performing set operations. Record sets are what fuel the views in your Odoo backend, so let's take a look at how record sets are accessed. In this example, we are using the tuple that equals the comparison operator to find the department with the name of sales, then we are updating the returned record set with a salary property using the right method available on record sets. Computed fields and on-change methods. These are powerful tools for dynamically computing the value of a field or for triggering actions when a field's value changes. They can also be used in complex ways to implement intricate business logic. These fields can be stored or computed on the fly and they can depend on another model's fields. So let's take a look at an example. In this example, the senior discount eligible field is computed based on the age field. Whenever an employee's age changes, their senior discount eligible field will automatically be updated. Constraints. Constraints in Odoo's ORM provide a way to enforce certain conditions on the data. You can define Python constraints, which are executed in the server when a record is created or updated, and SQL constraints, which are, which are enforced directly in the database. So let's take a look at an example. In this example, a constraint is defined to ensure that an employee's age is at least 16 and sends a validation error to the client if the condition is not met. Inheritance. Odoo's ORM supports several forms of inheritance, including classical inheritance, delegation inheritance, and extension inheritance. This allows for a highly modular and reusable code, which makes for easier add-on development. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. In this example, the sale.order model is extended to add a new delivery date field. This field will be available on all sale orders alongside the fields defined in the original model. Understanding the self.env in Odoo. The env attribute is a critical part of the Odoo framework, providing access to the current environment, the user's context, the cursor, and the current model instances. 
Self refers to the current record or record set. In Odoo, methods on models are executed on record sets, which are collections of records. A method can be executed on a single record or multiple records at once, and self will always refer to the record or records the method is being executed on. env is an attribute of self that represents the environment of the current transaction. It holds several pieces of information, including the cursor for database access, the current user, and the current context. Model name is a string that specifies the name of the model you want to access. For example, res.partner for the partner model or hr.employee for the employee model. Performance considerations. While Odoo's RRM provides a lot of convenience, it's important to be aware of the performance implications of your database interactions. Here are a few key points to consider. Avoid large record sets, use indexes, minimize database hits, and take care with computed fields. Choosing fields to index. Indexes are a key component in optimizing database performance in Odoo. They speed up the retrieval of rows from the database, but come at a cost of additional storage space and slower write operations. Monitoring system performance in Odoo. Maintaining optimal performance is crucial for a smooth and efficient operation of your Odoo system. Odoo's built-in logging, PostgreSQL, statistics collector, and Odoo profiler module, as well as the server monitoring tools can provide valuable insights into system performance. That's all for today's deep dive into Odoo's ORM. And remember, understanding these tools can greatly enhance your ability to write efficient, readable, and maintainable code. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes at Discourse Digital.